five-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a base is clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. To throw Mayfield over the middle. Julian Edelman, it's complete. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Now Mayfield on fourth down. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Mayfield to throw it. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. The Raiders on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Mayfield now. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Mayfield brings him up first and 10, and he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. From the gun, it's a run for Camara. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield. That's complete to Gallman. 
And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. The time to pull out the stops is now. And they convert there on fourth down. The clock showing two minutes even in what's been a memorable Super Bowl 54. That's it, baby. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. And again, it's Mayfield. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Eric Ebron. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. Is there now just an extra point away from getting back within one score? I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. Doesn't kind of, feel right. Exactly. Important extra point up and through as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it ends with an Oakland touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as it playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Now it's Wilson. He is going to find Hill here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Wilson. Fighting through pressure. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Now Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's forced out right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. 
Now that'll bring up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On second down, Jacobs. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Wilson to throw. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And that is caught. Oh, what a catch at the five-yard line. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Here's Jacobs. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. Yep. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Prater for the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mayfield and the offense now. Down by 15. 43 seconds to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores late in this Super Bowl. Ebron with it over the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield. This is caught by Gann. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On the ground, Kamara. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And it's over. The Lombardi Trophy belongs to the Falcons. Yes, the Atlanta Falcons are the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.